The past few years have been some of the most exciting in university history. We started a two-year academic transformation process and placed a huge focus on recruitment. These big ideas have led to big results with many improvements across campus and the largest freshman class in years. I'm proud of what we've accomplished, but it doesn't end there. Together, we're setting the academic course for the next decade of success. This is what's new at MSU. Providing access to higher education has been and will continue to be our focus. We offered new scholarships and entered new partnerships to make transferring to Missouri State and reaching academic goals easier. This included the creation of the Mo State Access Award, which covers all tuition and fees for Missouri Pell eligible students, and the founding of the Future Educators Program, along with the opening of the Center for Rural Education, will continue to support teachers and education throughout our state and region. With a major focus on the academic transformation process, we are working to better help meet student and workforce needs. Through that process, we created the Reynolds College of Arts, Social Sciences, and Humanities. The new college emphasizes the importance of the humanities and the arts to the academic core of Missouri State. We had other academic achievements to celebrate as well. For the first time in school history, the Doctor of Physical Therapy students earned a 100% pass rate, and we graduated our first class of mechanical engineers through the cooperative program with Missouri s and These achievements were all well supported by our award-winning faculty and staff. Elizabeth Strong was chosen for the prestigious Fulbright U.S. Scholars Program, and Dr. Kartik Ghosh was placed on the Fulbright Specialist roster. David Joswick and Dr. Carol Miller received noteworthy recognition as well. Our success continues to produce big results for our students as well. Missouri State BFA Musical Theater Song. Jaina Glenn and Kenzie Darst were nationally recognized in each of their fields. Our plant science graduate students won awards for their research presentation, while our mock trial students won both the Outstanding Witness Award and the Outstanding Attorney Award. Our biz bears continue to produce major results. A trio of graduate students received the Distinguished Research Award, and our FBLA collegiate students brought home five awards at the National Conference. Broadcasting and other electronic media students had big results in the 2023 BEA Festival of Media Arts, and eight students were able to expand their worldview in Zambia thanks to a prestigious scholarship program. Here come the bears! It was a banner year for us financially, too. We announced our largest one-time gift in university history. This generous gift from the C.W. Titus Foundation will fund a new arts facility on campus that will continue to enhance education in the arts, social sciences, and humanities. Thanks to alumni and friends, Missouri State completed the largest fundraising campaign in our history with more than 60,000 individual donors. We crushed it! And we raised $1.6 million in only 36 hours during the second annual Giving Day. The university also set records in external research funding and JVIC was awarded a generous grant from the Missouri Technology Corporation. That's not to mention more than $75 million from the federal government that will enrich our campus and the downtown collaborative community. We said farewell and thank you to Dr. Victor Matthews and Steve Folkart as they announced their retirements following decades of service to the university. Matt Morris's role was expanded to Vice President for Administration and Finance, and we welcome Dr. Algerian Hart as the new Assistant to the President for Inclusive Engagement. In other exciting news, we announced the creation of the Alliance for Healthcare Education, a partnership to increase the number of qualified healthcare workers in the region. We opened the John Goodman Amphitheater, which hosted its inaugural tent theater season. The Ozarks took center stage at the Smithsonian Folklife Festival in Washington, D.C. We formed a powerful new partnership to create an autism center that will make interventions and resources more accessible for those with specific needs. And we also celebrated the E-Factory's 10th anniversary, which continues to be an exciting place for ideas, dreams, and business development. Our athletes had a year of big results on and off the field. 
For the first time in school history, Missouri State athletes received both of the Missouri Valley Conference Dr. Charlotte West Scholar Athlete Awards. This award is based on academic achievement, athletic excellence, service, and leadership, and truly embodies what it means to be a bear. At the end of the football season, Ryan Beard was promoted to be the next head football coach to lead the Bears. Both soccer teams had big seasons as they each brought home Valley Tournament titles. Women's golf also raised a trophy as they claimed their first Valley Championship title in five years. And the women's swimming and diving team continued their dominance as they secured their seventh consecutive championship title. Through all of this, big ideas have definitely led to big results. There's no greater time to be part of the Missouri State family and celebrate what's new at MSU. Go Bears! That was awesome, guys. That was awesome.